Hi, everyone. This is Rob Schmidt with Donald Trump is still a fraud and a con artist. I would like to very much apologize for the lack of production quality with this video. My laptop broke down, and sadly, this is the best I can do. I also want to let all of you know that I've been working on a massive project that consisting of three very large videos, and I'm waiting on federal law enforcement to get back to me with some of the documents that I need. I did some investigative reporting, but in the meantime, with regard to Donald Trump, First and foremost, is this really the guy we want to have his hand on the nuclear button? He gets up there and all he does is he yells, he insults people, and he tells jokes. Can you imagine? I mean, that's just not going to fly when he's debating Hillary Clinton. As far as Donald Trump's business record is concerned, let's take a second look at it. Uh, and I'm using uh, an article written you know, by John Burke of Forbes magazine. In 1991, Trump Taj Mahal had a bankruptcy. Trump Plaza BK'd in 92. Then there was, in 1995, a reorganization into the Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts, including the Trump Marina. There were two Chapter 11 bankruptcies, one in 2004, another in 2009. And dating back to 1990, Donald Trump met with over 60 of his investors, of the, the lenders, because they had lent him so much money. If Trump failed, they failed. Effectively, that's a bankruptcy. It didn't go down as one, but that's what really happened. Now, let's forward fast to 2014, where Trump Entertainment had serious problems, where three of the 12 casinos had to close down in 2013. That is Donald Trump's record. He doesn't build walls better than anybody else, and we have to have a broker convention. John Kasich would be my guy for it, but we have to have a brokered convention. I didn't think we would, but we cannot. I mean, is Donald Trump really the person that you want to have the hands on the nuclear butt arsenal of the United States? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for your patience. I apologize for the lack of production quality, and may God be with you all. Please share your thoughts with me in the YouTube message center, and may God be with you all.